Microsoft's power toys have been around in various incarnations since the days of Windows 95. And back in 2019, they were released as an open source project for Windows 10 and subsequently Windows 11. They feature a whole host of useful tools. And as of version 0.84, which was released in the last few days, they now have a feature called Workspaces which allows you to take a snapshot of your open software and reopen it with the same configuration. Let's take a look at how it works. If you don't already have PowerToys installed, this page from Microsoft's website details the options there are for installing it. I think for most people, the best option will be installing through the Microsoft Store. Once you have the software installed, you'll see the Power Toys icon down here in the system tray. You may find that it is in the hidden icon section just to the left. But when you find the icon, just right click on it and go into settings. Power Toys window lists all features down the left hand side, and the main window is broken up into two sections. The top shows the modules which are enabled, where the switch is on, and the disabled modules, where the switch is off. Now we're interested in the workspace module, so make sure that that's turned on. Now we'll close this window down and we'll go back to the system tray and we'll just left click the Power Toys icon and choose workspaces. At the moment, I've got no saved workspaces, so I'll go ahead and make one by clicking the Create Workspace button in the top right of the window. To create the workspace, all you need to do is open the programs that you want to use and position the windows and then click capture on the snapshot creator dialog. So let's open Excel and snap that over to the right and PowerPoint over to the left and then we'll just click capture. Now I've created the workspace, I'll just go ahead and close the windows down. The snapshot that workspaces creates includes all screens on your system. As you can see, I have screen one, which just contains my video capture software, and then screen two, which is the PowerPoint and the Excel window. So I'll go ahead and remove my screen capture software from the snapshot, and we'll go ahead and name it my workspace, and we'll save. Both PowerPoint and Excel are closed. So to relaunch the software and bring the windows back to where they were snapshotted, I just click the launch button. And then you can see software's opened. So you're able to have multiple workspaces with different setups that suit your needs. To view this list of workspaces, whenever you reboot your PC, you could just come down to here, click the Power Toys icon, and then go back into workspaces and launch them. Another option for frequently used workspaces is to go in and edit the workspace and click the checkbox down in the bottom left that says create desktop shortcut. Then if we save and close this down, you'll have an icon on your desktop to launch the workspace. If I click the icon, it launches the software. Depending on the software you're using, relaunching the workspace may simply reposition the windows back to where they were originally, or it may open other instances of the software. If I go into workspaces and relaunch this workspace with PowerPoint and Excel in, you can see it's opened other instances of the software. This behavior can be controlled by using command line switches within the workspaces. So if I go back in and edit, and if I select the Excel, you can see there are a number of options for each window that's open. So it's whether it's launching as admin, maximized, minimized to the taskbar, the window position, and then there's this text dialog box for CLI arguments, so command line interface arguments or command line switches. I'm not going to go into the detail of that on this, but I will provide a link in the description to command line switches for most Microsoft Office software. One other point to note in these options here is this launch as admin checkbox. Now, there may be some software that you do need to open as an administrator, but if Workspaces does have to launch a window as an administrator, it will not be able to resize the window this is because the user account control dialog will open up 
and that disrupts the, the resizing of the window. Workspaces doesn't launch a window at the size you require. It opens the window as standard and then resizes the window, which is why the administrator option causes problems. This workspaces tool could be useful where you have a multiple monitor set up and several programs open at once and you perhaps have a couple of different setups depending on which task you're working on. So you could quite easily switch between the two or at the start of the day, open up the workspace that you need to work on at the time. Let me know what you think in the comments and thanks for watching.